What's up, YouTube, and what you know, my name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome to the first Burning Shadows video on this channel. Yesterday, I went to two Burning Shadows pre-release events that were held at the same store. Shoutouts to Common Ground Gaming in, uh, in Dallas, Texas. I went there for two events, and I'll definitely be going back because the venue was amazing, the people were great. I just loved it. I just loved it. In fact, I'm so hyped. I'm going to do everything I can to build a real deck so I can actually be competing at tournaments weekly. That'll come after Worlds though. Now, um, today's video we're going to be, I'm going to show you what I pulled real time. And then I have two, two, both of them, uh, of the pre-release kits that we're going to be going through. And six booster packs of the yet to be released Burning Shadows. Now. Uh, I do know that there are some people that are already opening booster boxes of Burning Shadows and all kinds of stuff like that. If you check out this video, I appreciate it so much. You have absolutely no idea how much I appreciate it. There's a lot of stuff going on with TCG tubers, and I, if you take the time to check this video, I really appreciate it. Now, that being said, there is going to be a lot more Burning Shadows coming soon. I already have one booster box ordered. There's potentially going to be a second one ordered, and I'm trying to figure out how to do a third, as well as all of the other Burning Shadows products that get released. And if you've watched the videos I've done recently, uh, some codes are starting to come out every now and then. So if you're watching for the first time, go ahead and subscribe. I promise you won't be disappointed. If you like Pokemon, Digimon, Zelda, Dragon Ball Z, uh, Dragon Ball of any kind actually, especially Super, anything like that, go ahead and subscribe. Now, uh, let's go ahead and jump in. As you can see on the pack cam, uh, we do have two Burning Shadows uh, packages as I described. As it says on the back, it says inside you'll find, let me go ahead and focus this. I hope that was focused in the last video. And a 23 card evolution pack, including one of four unique, quote unquote, quote unquote, unique spoilers, foil promo cards, and then four packs. And of course, after you compete in the Burning Shadows pre-release, you play three rounds. It's amazing. If you haven't gone to a pre-release, I would highly recommend it if you can make it. But after you play three rounds, then they give you three additional packs. So that's what we're going to be opening. That's going to be the, the exciting stuff for today. Now, the first one that I went to was at noon. Um, so that's this package. So we're going to set this one back just a little bit. That's this package. Now, right now, I'm going to jump you so you can see what I pulled when I pulled it. Okay, now you've checked that out. I don't know if I'm gonna leave the audio in on the on the on that uh, on that video, but at the very end, uh, when I pulled the last pack, I said lol. I just lol, because this is funny. So let's go ahead and dive in. I'll show you what I got. Actually, I've already organized these, so I won't get to type. I don't know why I did this, but uh, I won't get to talk through it like I did the last time, but. You can kind of see everything I did here. Now, um, one thing that I did during the pre-release that I liked in this one 
was this Rhyhorn, Rhydon into Rhyperior. So uh, it does a whole lot of damage, and that's one thing that I was using a lot of. I also used this Crabrawler into the promo that I got, which was Crabominable. One damage, 80 damage, or one energy, 80 damage. That's great. Now I did pull two Weaviles, which if you know me, that's my Pokémon character. So that's pretty hype. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Um, that's it. Truthfully, that's it. Um, so that's that. Uh, what's back here? Oh, those are the Sun and Moon ones. So, again, we have these three packs that we're going to open up at the end. Should we do them now? You know what? Let's do them now. I'm really feeling opening some packs. So, let's scramble them up. Earlier today, uh, MLPB week number seven went up. That's Major League Pack Battles, where we open up packs against other YouTubers. You should definitely check that video out. It's going to be super awesome. All right. Here we go. These better be good. This was from the first one. I didn't pull anything at all. I'm expecting something. Something shiny, something hype, something exciting and worth $30. I think this cut, okay. I, I gotta be more careful. How about the fire energy? Woo! All right. Now these are new cards. I haven't really spent too much time. This Rattata is really good in, uh, in like, the format that we were doing is really good. It's obviously not going to be really good in normal gameplay. Wimpod could be good depending on what deck I decide to run. I really don't know what deck I'm going to run in Burning Shadows, but I'm going to try to make a real deck and compete. Reverse Viper and a Persian. A regular Persian. Regular Persian and regular Raichu are in this. I have no idea why. All right, uh, I gotta try and not see this code card. I really don't want to see. Oh, <gasps> Charmander! All right, I'm gonna flip. Okay. Charm. If I pull a Charizard, it will be the pop off of all pop offs. How about a Water Energy? Ooh, I should have gone. I knew I should have gone Electric. All right, let's take a look at this Charmander. I love this Charmander. Oh my gosh, this Charmander is amazing. If you know me, you know that Charmander is one of my absolute favorite Pokemon of all time. Potentially is my favorite shiny Pokemon. Charmeleon, don't do this to me. Don't you do this to me. I will freak out. Woo! That's not what I was, what I thought it was going to be, or what I guess I was hoping it would be, but this is hype. Rainbow Rare Alolan Muck. Woo! Woo! All right, let me take a look at it. I'm hyped. All right, Chemical Breath says this attack does 70 more damage for each special condition affecting your opponent's active Pokemon. Okay, so that works with Tri-Hazard GX, which doesn't use an energy. And it says switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active Pokemon. The new active Pokemon is now burned, paralyzed, and poisoned. So basically that would kill that would do 220 the next turn. That's crazy. Alright. Now, I'm a little greedy because some people would pull like one in the... Oh, look at that, an Alolan Grimer to go with our Alolan Muck. Some people would pull like one in their pre-release kit and then also one in these packs. So I'm going with a Psychic Energy. I should just go with Fighting Energies all the time. All right, so there's a Grimer to go with this. Okay, I was just looking at... Ooh, a Sneasel, that's our mascot. Why does Sneasel look so mean? Oh my gosh. Another Charmander. That's so, that's, look at this. Look at, I'm okay with this. It's not the best. I wouldn't say that I got the $30 worth. Uh, not yet. Yeah, I wouldn't say I, I exactly got $30 worth in this one, um, but a Lolan Muck Rainbow Rare. I mean, that's, that's super hype. So uh, let's go ahead and jump into the next one. Um, so we did one of those. Now this is the second one that we had. It's the exact same as the first. So now I'm gonna jump you in so you can see what I pulled this time live. And you might wanna check it out.
All right, so you've checked that out. You've seen the height that is. I'm gonna open this up. We did pull a Salazzle full art, which is super cool. I love pulling cards. I love these new cards. I love the hype of new cards. So let's pull out these as we did before. Now these I didn't sort. Um, so you can kind of see what my deck looked like. Now this one, I used Krogunk and Toxicroak. So Toxicroak's good, it does a lot of damage. And if, if it's poisoned, then it does even more damage. Uh, but I also, I did the same thing where I was using Rhyperior again. This time though, Meowth that carried the way. For two energy, this attack does seven, 10 damage for each card in your hand. Now, this has 90 health. And most, be, most basic Pokemon in this set only have, uh, you know, 60, 70, maybe even 50. So this card actually won me a battle by itself. Just me ousted. I didn't need anything else. A reverse Gu Guzma. One of the guys I played pulled a uh, full art Guzma. But the reason I said, quote unquote, unique promo is because I pulled the same Kerbalmanable on both. What else? What else? Is there anything? I don't think there's anything. I pulled a rare Kerbalmanable, which... I did pull a, ho a hollow rare Palosan, so that's cool, I suppose. That's about it. So that's that. Set those back there. Oh, and in here, we have three packs, and those are just the empty packs that I pulled, that I did at the event. So here we go, three more packs. Can we repeat? Can we get something hype? Or will this all be for not? That'd be super upsetting. I'm not gonna lie. If I don't pull one or two things in here, I might be a little upset. So here's a Ho-Oh. But it only takes one pack to pull something amazing. It only takes one pack. Okay. Uh, fighting energy. Of course, now it's, now it's not a fighting energy. When I call fighting energy, it's not fighting energy. All right, let's continue. Haven't seen this Oddish. Supposedly the Vile Plume in this set is pretty good. Uh, I haven't seen it enough to really know. I did use that Super Scoop up a couple times and saved my life, literally. Ooh, a Hollow Rare Raichu. Why is regular Rare Raichu in here? Or is, wait, 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 wait. The, the Raichu GX must be in the next set. Okay, I do not know who is emailing me all of a sudden. I'm getting a lot of emails. I don't think you can see them, though. All right, next pack, next pack, next pack. It only takes one. Say it with me. It only takes one. Here we go. Oh, I, I, I'm so hyped to open. I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm doing. Okay, if I don't pull something, I'm going to go sit under a fan because it's super hot. But No, if I don't pull something, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cry. Reverse Scolipede and a Passimian. All right, Feeny. Come on, Tapu Feeny. I've got to be honest. If this isn't a GX of some kind, I don't know that the money's going to be going to have been worth it. You know, there's no guarantees that it that it's anything. I'm sad. How about Grass Energy? It only takes one. Shout out to Time Woven. So, seven packs, no, 14 packs. I, I, I'm really honestly just struggling to figure out how, how that could be. But out of 14 packs, we pulled two cards. A Full Art Salazzle GX and an Alolan Muck Hyper Rare. So, um, again, there's more Burning Shadows on the way. And hopefully there will be better pulls um, so I can be more excited. If you did wind up enjoying this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Uh, again, if you're watching this for the first time, uh, go ahead and subscribe. I promise there will be more. I promise I get a lot more hype and I'm a lot happier most of the time. Uh, but for $60, pulling just these two, kind of sucky. 
But um, that will do it. We will be back next week for more TCG openings where we'll be opening up the Umbreon GX box that just came out last week or two weeks ago. Last week, I think. Uh, as well as, I think, one other. Uh, we'll see what happens. So again, we will see you next time. Until then, have a blessed day.